you know what, sometimes the look that you want to get is not necessarily always the look that you're going to get, so... <laughs> Hello, hello, welcome to my video. If you're from my Instagram, I love you. If you're not from my Instagram, love you all the same. So today I'm actually going out on a date. We're going to the movies. We're gonna see the new Multiverse of Madness, which I am really excited about. So this eye look was low-key inspired by the Scarlet Witch and the movie poster a little bit. But yeah, obviously I gotta go get ready for this date. So I'm taking you along with me. We're gonna talk about a few different things like how I wanna become a travel vlogger, for example, and some other things that have been happening with me lately. So if you're at all into that that type of thing, then please keep on watching. Okay, so now my base is on. Now I am just using a black eyeshadow, just like for my previous video, which I'll link up here if you haven't watched it, and sketching out that exact same shape. I also realized that people don't put this much makeup on to go on a date, but you know, some of us do, and I wanted to sort of be on theme today, so that's exactly what I'm doing. Now I'm just diffusing the edges of this weird little shape, just so that they're easier to blend in with the red later on. But anyway, I have to talk to you today about quite a few things. Number one is that I've been doing a whole lot of traveling lately and I'm trying to become a travel vlog. No, I'm not, I'm really not. I just asked you um, on my Instagram about two days ago if you would also like to see some travel content from me. Now, before you say no and throw rocks at me, let me at least explain. Before I start explaining, let me just tell you that I took some eye base on a flat brush and I'm sharpening out that wing right now. Anyway, basically, I've always been somebody who's been interested in a lot of different things at the same time. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and so with that in mind, I would like to sort of start branching out and, you know, showing and sharing with you my other interests besides makeup and cosmetics and beauty. Although for right now, for the beginning, just to see how it goes, I would obviously only post all of that stuff to my stories on my Instagram to see how you guys respond and if you like it and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't want to shove things down your throat that you may not like. Although I'll never stop shoving drag race down your throats. I'm sorry about it. That's who I am. Can't help it. But anyway, yeah, that's my plan. So I'm going to start doing that. And then if you guys like that sort of thing, you know, let me know. Okay, now I'm taking a dark red shade and blending it with the black. And what we're trying to achieve here is the Scarlet Witch Realness. If you know, you know. Anyway, what brought all of this on was the fact that I was in Hungary about maybe a week ago. And I was there and I was having a beautiful time. But I wasn't doing much makeup related things. I really wasn't doing my makeup like that. Like, I'd do a quick little beat and, you know, help my friend get ready and stuff, but I wasn't doing full face or anything like that, so I really didn't have anything to show for my Instagram, I guess. I mean, I was regularly posting on the grid, but for my stories, I was contemplating, like, whether you guys would like to see what I'm up to when I travel and stuff like that because I love looking at travel content personally and actually the way that me and my friend uh, who went to Hungary with me found out about you know where we were gonna go and all the pretty restaurants and all the locations was mostly through other people's stories and posts on Instagram so it was also very handy as well and then I was like well should I talk about my experience here on my Instagram which has nothing to do with traveling but also I am traveling so I guess I should let you guys know and then I ended up not doing that but I still have a lot a lot of content from when I was there that I could post if you guys would be interested in seeing it. And also, I'm going to Amsterdam in like nine days and I would really love to tell you about it. And I'm probably also gonna vlog about why I'm there and stuff. And it's sort of makeup related, not really, but sort of kinda ish. So whether you like it or not, that you're gonna see, that you're gonna hear about for sure. And I need to tell you the story of how that came about as well. But um, before I do that, I'm just letting you know that I'm just sort of diffusing the edges even more with a flea, with a fleen cluffier brush. Right, with a clean fluffier brush to get an even better blend later on. Now that that's done, I'm bringing in that same red shade to the inner corner and blending it into my crease so that maybe we could somehow start seeing a shape of this look form. Maybe that'd be nice. See, okay, sort of like that for right now. It's gonna look better. Trust. You know, sometimes a look just doesn't start coming together until about the last 10 seconds. <laughs> then you're like, oh, okay, I'm that girl. Regardless of how you look, 
in the last 10 seconds, don't lie, we've all done this, you're doing a look and you go, I'm that girl and nobody can stop me, right? And I'd be looking crazy a lot of the times too, like I'm not under any delusion that I don't look absolutely crazy. But you know what, that's what's fun about it, who cares? Okay, so now I'm just deepening up the crease with that exact same dark red shade. Since this is going to be the darkest color in my crease, I'm not going to do black right here. I really want this to be super pigmented, so that's why I'm doing that. Obviously, same on the other eye. <laughs> you can't be looking disconnected or whatever my boyfriend said in the last video. That was really funny. I think you should check that video out if you still have it. I'm going to link it, but that was so funny. I was doing something. And he just said at one point, yes, and do the same thing on the other side as well or whatever. You can't be looking disconnected. And I, I can't stop saying that now. It's so funny. Now, I don't know if he meant like disconnected from reality or from what, but you know what? Facts are facts. Now using the exact same brush that I've been using this whole time, I'm taking an even lighter red and blending out that darker red. I mean, that's not bad. I look like a little ketchup packet, but... That's sort of the goal, right? Y'all are sitting there watching this video going wrong. That is not the goal, girl, but go off. So anyway, now that I'm blending this, I can start with the Amsterdam story. So I woke up. It was a Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. One day. It was the weekend. I just wake up. I go to the bathroom. Now this is, I'm telling it from my boyfriend's perspective, okay? I wake up, I go to the bathroom. I come back from the bathroom and I just look at him dead in his pretty brown eyes and I go... Should I just go to Amsterdam? Now, at this point, he's fully used to all my antics, so he doesn't even react. It's not, like, funny for him anymore, because he knows. And he just goes, yeah, I mean, you should. Why? Is there anything special there? Like, any particular reason? And if you are also wondering what the answer to that question is, well, thank you for asking. Um, let me clarify. The reason was that I was in the bathroom and on my phone I had got a notification that Miss Trixie Mattel posted like tour dates on her Instagram and I saw that she was coming to Amsterdam which is sort of close to me, to my country where I am and also I had always coincidentally wanted to visit Amsterdam I just sort of never did, I don't even know why and so I was just like shit should I go? Should I? Okay, so pause for a second. Let me tell you that I'm doing the exact same thing here as I was before. Fluffy clean brush blending out the edges. Back to the story. So my boyfriend hears this and bless his heart, he knows me so well at this point. We've known each other for almost six years basically. So he knows me so well at this point. He knows when I need a little extra push and when my ideas are just too crazy sometimes. So at this point, he sensed that I just needed a little extra push and he was like, yeah, you should go totally. And that's all the little tiny bit of gaslighting I needed because I bought a ticket for Trixie Mattel's show that same day, literally. Okay, now even though I said gaslighting, let's all agree to understand that that's not what I meant. My boyfriend never gaslights me. I'm just, you know, trying to make it funny. I'm not funny, I get it. So anyway. Back to the story once again. My thing is, I'm sort of zero to a hundred sometimes. So I haven't done any traveling, obviously, as have none of us um, in the past, what, two years or something like that because of, you know, everything that's been going on. But even before then, I always wanted to travel and go places. But I'm sort of an introverted, anxious person when you really think about it. Um, I sort of present, I front as an extroverted person and you know, I make jokes and all of this, but really I'm sort of, you know, anxious and all of that. So traveling is always something that I really wanted to do. I kept saying, oh, I wanna travel, I wanna travel, but I'd never do it. And so I think that that's been going on for so long now that because I'm sometimes so zero to a hundred, there's no in between with me sometimes, I just booked and bought the ticket for the Trixie tour immediately that same day before actually you know, reserving a seat on a plane or, you know, looking at hotel rooms or prices or anything like that. I really just said, you know what, fuck it. And I got the ticket. Anyway, I'm darkening up and adding a little bit more pigment with that dark red again. And then I'm really moving on to blending. I feel like I say that in every video too. I, I do the same, I do the same steps in every video and I always feel like it looks like I'm doing the exact same thing until the very end of the eye look. But I promise you I'm not. I'm just deepening in the crease. 
and again, same, same on the other eye. Anyway, I was saying that because right now, I am very flexible. Everything that I need to do, work and stuff, I do from home. I'm fully remote from home at this point. So I'm very flexible to, you know, just be able to travel almost at any point, to be quite honest. So I was able to buy the ticket for the show. Of course, I also bought the meet and greet because if I'm gonna go see Miss Trixie Mattel perform, I'm gonna go meet her, which means that, and here comes the part that's sort of related to makeup, I am going to beat my face down the house boots. Boots the house down, mama, yes, God. For that show, because Miss Mattel deserves me to go there looking my absolute best, and she deserves for me to turn it. I'm gonna, you can't go to a drag, well, I can't go to a drag show and just, give nothing, you know? So I might even vlog that for you? I don't know, I'm probably gonna vlog that for you. Let me know. Anyway, like I said, bought the ticket, didn't get a plane ticket, didn't get a hotel, didn't get anything. And then after I bought the ticket, I started looking at, ho at hotels and they were, number one, ungodly expensive, ungodly. And then the ones that weren't were really not close to the center square or the arena where Miss Mattel is gonna perform. So I was like, what am I gonna do at this point? I spent such a long time searching for hotels. So anyway, while I'm cleaning my brush, I'm gonna let you know that I did end up finding a hotel actually. And it's pretty close to everything that I really am excited to see in Amsterdam, so that's great. And then I also had to find a plane ticket. Okay, this is the last shade. This is a very light, soft pink that I'm just diffusing everything with and then I'm gonna move on to cutting the crease and all that good stuff. Anyway, plane tickets, anybody who lives in a very small country, I'm sure is gonna be able to relate to me on this one. I live in a small country, which means that we have a tiny little airport, which means that you can't just find plane tickets super fast or super easily, especially for specific dates that you need them. I mean, it's not the smallest airport in the world, but you know what? I don't... It's not the biggest one either. It's pretty difficult sometimes. So I was on a mission to find these plane tickets. Barely found them, to be honest. I just hope that everything's gonna be, you know, okay and that I'm not gonna miss my flight and everything else, basically. Okay, so this needs to be cleaned pretty nicely at this point, but other than that, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this look. You know what? This wing is a cry for help. Okay, now I'm just slightly blending out the lower lash line, but I don't want to bring that down too much, so I'm not doing too much. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, enough with the blending, and now I'm just cutting my crease with Vaseline. Okay, so I cut my crease with a white eye base, and then I set it with white eyeshadow, and the reason you didn't see that is because my camera hates me. But you know what, you also didn't miss much, so what are you gonna do? Let's move right along. I'm applying eyelash primer right now, and then I'm gonna move on to the face, and then I'm done. Well, almost. I also have the lips, but you know what? That's part of the face, so... Ugh, I love this eye look. It's exactly what I wanted for today. Anyway, right now, as you can see, I'm just applying foundation, and I'm gonna blend it out. By the way, tell me, do you guys still go to the movies? Like, to the actual movies, to the cinema or whatever? Because i actually really love watching movies at home to be honest with you and the reason is simply because i love theorizing what's gonna happen and commenting with everybody else who's watching the movie with me and you can't really do that in a movie theater i mean you could but it's not the same, you know? It's not the same because you can't exactly be theatrical and loud and that's honestly what I get like, especially if I really enjoy a movie. So that's honestly the only downside, but other than that, movie theater popcorn always hits different and I said what I said. What do I do if my brows are slowly merging into one brow? Like, how do I fix this? How did we get here? So now it's concealer time, I'm applying it on my dark circles. I'm using a lot today because my sleeping schedule isn't a schedule. It's more of like a light suggestion 
that I normally don't follow so now while I'm blending it out I'm gonna ask you guys to go ahead and let me know if you're from Amsterdam or if you've ever been to Amsterdam what's a place that I need to visit I have so many places on my list already and I'm gonna be there for three nights only so you know it's not that much but I could still do a nice little round of sightseeing okay so now I'm just setting my under eyes with powder and then I'm just pressing that powder into the skin immediately by the way I don't know if I mentioned it but you can see me bronzing you know what I'm doing at this point I've repeated these steps in my videos so so many times that I feel like no words are even necessary at this point anyway we're almost done here and I still don't know what type of lip I'm gonna apply with this look I'm thinking it should be something light so that the eyes can really do the talking so i'm probably gonna go with like a light nude pink type of vibe as usual i'm unoriginal and <laughs> that's just always what i do so meanwhile i'm just applying mascara to my eyes right now and obviously doing the same thing on the other eye as well okay so now i'm just highlighting on my brow bone and my inner corner and now for the piece de resistance. <laughs> you Americans always butcher the French language. France, sweetie, I'm so sorry. I don't know French at all, at all. So <laughs> maybe I should stop, but yeah. The cherry on top basically is this highlighter on the cheek. Just a little bit on the nose as well. Okay. I'm done now. Sometimes you just gotta tell yourself, put down the brush, which is exactly what I did. So now I'm just gonna move on to the lips. Can I be perfectly honest at the gig today? I don't really like this liner. I don't like the color, but it's the lightest pink liner that I own. So that's why I'm using it. Mm. See, this color is so gutted. I'm gonna switch up the lip. I'm just gonna put a little bit of red gloss on, nothing too much, I promise. I'm using my finger to blend this into my lip so that it's not too pigmented. Okay, well, I don't really like the look of a diffused sort of lip, but here we are. I'm just gonna pop some clear gloss on now and I think we're gonna finish it. I needed a bit more color, so I applied this sort of nude brown type of shade, but I think it looks good with the eyes, not too overbearing but you know, not nothing. Okay, so this is my finished date look. I'm actually gonna wear this out. I really like it. I hope you do too. And if you do, please consider liking and subscribing. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.